Hi folks, it's Peter Forbes here, number one property centre. I'm standing out at the front of 150 Condamine Street, Dolby. Um, you can see here, it's uh, Condamine Street's a really long street and we're right down the end of it. So across the road, you're looking into sort of uh, vacant paddocks there. And then that's the end of the street down that way. Uh, this is of course back into town. Um, but look, this is a very solid home. It is uh, vacant right now, but probably not for long. It'll probably be rented out again. So I just wanted to take this opportunity to get a video and give people an overview of what this property was uh, and is. Um, so look, there's the front door. I'm gonna have a bit of a walk around the, the front yard first up. So look, the bones of a very good yard are here. Um, yeah, it's, I guess, been rented for a while now. So it's, it's probably not looking as picturesque as it could, but uh, the actual bones are there and you could really do something with it. And then this is down the side of the house. There's a bit of bit of foliage there that you can see. Now just uh, heading up up the front. This is the front door, obviously. Got a security door. And then inside, <coughs> a little, little foyer area there, which you can see. And then we're straight into the lounge room. So the lounge room itself, um, it's uh, well equipped with a reverse cycle air conditioning unit and we've got aluminium windows. Um, you'll note that there is um, some ducted, um, an old EVAP system that no longer works. So the ducted EVAP is no longer working um, and they've replaced it with a, a split system air comp in the lounge. Uh, from the lounge, you move straight into the kitchen dining area. And as you can see, this is a, a pretty modern um, space here and it's it's uh, done well it's actually got a bit of size about it which is good you can see there very good uh, very good kitchen and there's enough room there for a decent dining room uh, setting and you've also got your breakfast bench here it's uh, got a gas cooker and electric uh, oven and range put in place Look, heading down to the bedrooms, uh, so the bedroom wing here is uh, straight off that area and uh, I think this is the main bedroom here, this first room. Yeah, so the uh, bedrooms themselves, I guess, oh, it's, it has been rented for a little while and um, to me it looks like it needs um, a lick of paint. But from a rental point of view, it's perfectly fine at the moment. And I'm um, in your windows, as I said. And here's the second bedroom. This one here doesn't have built-in cupboards. The house itself, of course, is all fitted out with the new smoke alarm systems. And here's the third bedroom. It has a built-in. So two of the rooms, bedrooms got built-in cupboards. Um, this uh, this one here is is uh, quite workable. Nice big cupboard. And then of course, we've got uh, linen storage on either side and into the bathroom. It's actually a, a, a pretty decent sized bathroom. There's a, an old shower over the bath here. We've got sort of lamy panel walls. And uh, yeah, very, very serviceable bathroom. Certainly fine as a rental at the moment. And that sums up the house. And I'll head back out through the kitchen area. And the back of the house, you've got your laundry. storage here in front of me and then out into your outdoor area out the back this is a good area it's got some size about it and then the backyard now this backyard here um, it's got a bit of a low spot down here at the back a little bit of water does pool there when you get a bit of rain uh, I think it's very fixable. It's uh, been a rental for a while, so no one's no one's wanted to, to to go to the extent of fixing that. I think there's a number of things you could do. You could build it up into a big garden bed. Um, you can see the shed there's a bit low as well. And yeah, well, of course we've got the tank at the back here. So look, um, the house itself, um, I think it looks pretty good. There's a little bit of rust on the ridge capping on the roof line. Uh, which you can probably see there but the actual line itself looks okay 
Um, gutters look pretty, pretty decent as well. Um, the house itself, um, I think it's in, in reasonable shape, the paintwork on the back. It's just this back wall that's getting hit with the western sun, where it's a bit worse for wear. Apart from that, the main body of the house, and I'll just walk around the side here, is looking fairly reasonable. And that's it, that's 150 Condamine Street. Hope this overview has helped you. Please give me a call if you're uh, interested in purchasing this home. Thanks for listening and watching. Bye for now.